Hello and welcome. Now, I know I was probably a little bit negative in the the, the unboxing of this 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 knife, this monster, and um, maybe my expectations were were too high uh, because it cost a lot of money. Kind of expected uh, expected an awful lot from this. All right. However, after playing with the knife, I am fairly impressed. Um, given that this knife is it's kind of a collector's piece it's not really meant for, for hard tasks uh, shaving, uh, cutting trees down, things like that it is purely a, a collector's kind of piece um, and it's uh, I think if you if you really like bowie knives or bowie knives um, I think it's, it's a great piece to add to the collection just bearing in mind it won't be as functional as uh, as a knife that that you can use a lot um, to you know in the field to cut things what whatever it's 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 not meant for that not really uh, I'll go through why uh, in this review so here it is uh, okay this is my my review of this uh, collectible knife this um, Gil Hibben design knife all right I think you probably know the the score by now. I do uh, I do talk about some stats or some specifications first of all, and then I'll uh, go into into the nitty gritty of it. Okay, fingerprints will definitely start popping up as I'm holding fondling this knife. Okay, uh, that's just the way it works. It's a it's a polished knife, and um, we just can't get away away from that unless you want me to wear wear gloves through the whole video. Anyway, so here's the specs. The overall length of this absolute monster is uh, 20 inches or 50.8 centimeters. The blade length is uh, 14 inches or 35.5 centimeters. And the cutting edge, which is about there, okay, right to the tip, is 12.4 uh, inches or 31.5 centimeters. Now, the weight, wow, it weighs an awful lot, okay. Um, the weight of this is uh, 33.4 ounces or 947 grams with the sheath it weighs 39.9 ounces or 1.130 kilograms so it's uh, 1130 kilogram uh, 1130 grams sorry okay so it's it's over a kilogram with the sheath all right so just bear that in mind um not really an everyday carry knife might be if you're if you're a giant, but um, there we go. Okay, so uh, so some of the features, it's uh, it's kind of designed by that master knife knife maker Gil Hibben. Okay, obviously this isn't handmade by him or anything. Uh, it says China on on the on the blade. So unless he's moved to China in a factory somewhere, it, it's uh, it's not handmade by him. But anyway, it's 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 kind of designed by him. Okay, and he designed this uh, Bowie knife for the 2010 Expendables movie. Yeah, it's 2013 at the moment. Um, I've just got my hands on this. Um, I, don't, I don't know whether it, they did release it back then, but either way, uh, I like the look of it now, and uh, thought I'd, you know, make the purchase. Okay, it features a stabilised, please take note, stabilised synthetic ivory handle with gold-plated catcher guard. Okay, it has the Expendables artwork, probably just printed on, um, on the handle, and cast star designs on the on the guard, as you can see. I mean, at one point I will I will do a huge close up of this uh, knife, but as it stands, we'll, we'll we'll just hold it there for a little while. Okay, um, it is a fourteen inch blade. Okay. It's uh, 14 inches. All right. Um, it's polished stainless steel. All right. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, reflection and things going on. All right. Um, but uh, I've seen in some places it's classed as 440C. Uh, I mean, it's it's just quite sharp. Yeah. Uh, it can cut through. Mine can cut through paper, and I have I have tried sharpening in it, and it and it you can you can get it sharp sharper 
sharp yeah sharper <laughs> anyway sharper and uh but but yeah i mean that that point is just um absolutely lethal absolutely it's uh very hard very sharp and pointy um very good piercing power it goes straight through um i'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in a while it is made in china so don't expect anything incredible um but it for you know i'm i was quite i was quite negative in the unboxing but um i, I it has grown on me um the the price of one of these is about 100 to 140 pounds depending on where you look um I mean, it's a, if you like knives just to look at, okay, and that's all, or you or you prefer to look at knives more than actually uh, cutting with them, then um, yeah, this is this is for you really, especially if you're into in, into Bowie knives, all right. Um, but if you like uh, if you like knives to to use as knives, then this might not be for you. Okay, it's basically the, you, the the question you've got to ask is it's a question of use. Okay, what will you be using this for, if anything? If it's a collector's piece, all right, and uh, and that's all it's going to be, hang on the wall in a cabinet somewhere, go for it, and um, because it really does look the business, it's huge, um, and if you love the Expendable movies, that's even more of a reason. Uh, but if you just want to buy a knife that looks incredible, and and that's about it then go for it. Uh, you really can't fault it. N not really. I mean, um, I should see all the finger, finger marks are now showing up, but there we go. Um, be because of the blade steel, really, and, and the pommel. I mean, yes, uh, I'm now looking at, at it from a point of view of, of use, but, uh, but really that's because that's who I am. And and the knives that I have and the knives that I review and things, I look at those as as use, okay? And that's what I do with this one, even though you're not really meant to. So in terms of use, I do question the blade steel, um, what you're going to be using that for, and whether it 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 will hold an, an okay edge. And I question the pommel. They say it's stabilised ivory handle. Uh, I've read in some places that it's actually um, a push tang. So there's a, a tang, part of the blade goes in to a point and then there's just lots of glue in there to hold that handle in place. Well, we all know that everybody uses, everybody loves a, a full tang handle. And, uh, but then there's many cases where uh, handles that are glued on and they don't fall apart or it's very, very rare. Um, however, I still wouldn't chop a tree down with this. I just, I just, there's just something about it. I just wouldn't wouldn't trust it. Okay, put it that way. And um, I just would not trust this for hard use. And it's a collectible. I wouldn't want to put it put it through that. Okay. Um, so yeah, do do question why you're buying it uh, more than anything because it's a really decent knife to look at, but n not really for for function. I mean, because it's it's quite expensive. Like I say, it's a lot of money um, for a collectible. Uh, that you can't really use as as a proper knife. I mean, it's it's a fun knife, very very sharp point and things. Thrust. It doesn't matter where that that hits. Uh, it's going to be pretty pretty lethal. Um, in boxes, of course. Uh, but anyway, that's that's that. I'll just show you like the the size of it. I know I'm going on, and I know I'm um, you know probably. You know, making you fall asleep and things, but actually I thought the, the SOG Jungle Primitive was a large knife. This is like a toothpick compared to it. It's 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 ridiculous. Well, maybe not a toothpick, but yeah, it's uh, it's tiny. And then um, just a size comparison, we've got a, a ruler, a steel ruler, and that's a 12 inch ruler there, or 30 centimeter ruler, and it dwarfs a, well, it dwarfs a ruler. Um, and I thought the Spyderco military was a was a large folding knife, but um, probably fit about two, maybe three of those. Yeah, probably two and a bit of those knives in there. And then the UK PK. I'm just doing this purely for for fun, really, not 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 seriously. Um, but there's a UK PK next to it. That's just um, just silly, really. But uh, but there you go. I mean, if you're into collecting knives and things, and you 
um, you've spotted this one. I just thought I'd do a do a review on it and just show you kind of what you're getting and things. I mean, do check out my unboxing video, but like I say, I was a bit negative in that. Um, hope you've enjoyed this one a bit more. Just just a quick look at the sheath. All right, it does smell a bit musty in there. Might be because they say it's genuine leather, but um, it's very difficult to tell these days. But uh, it goes into the sheath. And there isn't actually a cutout part there for the gold-plated um, spine bracket, I suppose you could call it. Um, but that slots in there, and it chips away a little bit at the at the sheath. But it goes in nicely, and it stays in there. It's nice and stiff in there, so uh, it's not going to just remember. This is nearly a, a kilogram knife, okay? Now, that's not falling out unless I really. <sighs> gave it some but but there we go um but like i said it's it's a fun knife to to have in a, in a collection especially if you if you love the the bowie shape or the, the buoy shape if you love that shape um and you like bowies in particular you just you just can't go wrong i mean uh it's an excellent collectible and it's it's huge definitely wow your friends um I'm just going to get the, the certificate, okay? You do get a certificate with it, so bear with me. There it is. Sorry about that, I should have had it handy, but uh, I had, had it somewhere else. This is the certificate you get with it. I mean, do feel free to, to pause that and read it at your leisure. It basically just um, tells you a bit about the film with his 50 years of experience and uh, a little bit about the the knife, okay. Doesn't really say anywhere there about the steel, okay. Which obviously for me is quite important, um, but it says polished stainless steel. Uh, like I said, I've read in places that it's 440C, but I I don't know about that. I mean, it is it is polished stainless steel, um, and it does sharpen. So, but yeah, it's the the, the main thing is maybe not so much the steel, but but it's just the handle. You tap it, and there's vibration, vibration inside. Not not side to side or anything, but just vibration, like it's hollow. Okay, so just um, just bear that in mind. Okay, don't don't be shaking it about or hacking with it. I mean, it's because that could quite easily separate, snap, whatever. Okay, it's not wooden. It's just synth synthetic ivory. Okay. Um, but there we go. Uh, you you either love it or you hate it. Uh, it it is a collectible knife um, from the movie. I'd, I'd if I had the money again, I probably wouldn't buy it uh, because I'd probably buy a much more functioning knife um, to add to the collection. Um, but uh, that's just for example, obviously. But uh, if you are the type of person that does does collect knives and you're a you're a huge uh, Bowie knife fan uh, yeah it's for you I mean it's it's uh, it's a good it's a good knife and um, just so long as you don't treat it as a knife that uh, you know you want to take out the woods and stuff all the time okay anyway I hope you've enjoyed that sorry I've uh, you know car carried on and on and on but um, you know there's there's a lot to say about this and uh, if you if you can try before you buy, definitely do because, uh, like I said, it, it's a huge knife, and um, it would look really good on the wall. Um, but I don't think you're going to start opening your post with it. Okay. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank thanks for watching and staying with me. And uh, please do comment, rate, and subscribe on your you know your opinions and your your experience of this. Um, and uh, take care.